Welcome to the channel. For those that are new here, my name is Rex, just Rex. I'm not a doctor yet, but I am starting medical school at Duke University. And so today was my first day that I got to go on campus as part of orientation. And I got a little bundle of goodies that I'd like to unbox. Okay, so the first thing I got today is my white coat, which I guess normally is part of a whole white coat ceremony when you officially get it. But since we're doing ours virtually on Friday, I guess we just got it today from one of our advisors. So here it is, I guess. It's, it's a white coat, nothing too special by any means, but there it is, um, got our name on it, all that kind of fun stuff. So I'll be wearing that hopefully eventually. I don't know when that's gonna happen with the current situation in America, but I hope to be wearing it soon, and so that's exciting. And then I got my ID badge, nothing too special, but I guess that's official that I can start getting into buildings and whatnot. So that's fun. Um, but I haven't gone through this little extra bag of goodies that I don't know what it is. I do know what this is. So I'll go through this real quick because I already know. But I guess you guys don't know. So any guesses on what this box is with some actually very nice wrapping to it. Um, so we'll open it up real quick. And there we have a nice, the Littman Cardiology 4 stethoscope. Um, and so I think what's special is we got these paid for by, I guess, the Alumni Association. Um, and it should have our names on it in some way, or we have to put this right on nameplate. Um, engravable nameplate. Maybe it, it gets engraved at a later date. I don't see the engraving or anything like that yet. It's a nice little welcome um, from the Duke Alumni Association. Well, they pay for it, which is more than uh, I expected by any means. So yeah, so I just got a free stethoscope from the Duke Alumni Association, which is really nice. I don't know how much these cost, but probably more than I would want to spend at any given moment. So that's how much that costs. And so I'm very thankful for that and excited and looking forward to one day, hopefully when I'll be an alumnus and able to be giving a gift like this to some future doctors. All right, so here's the bag of goodies, which I've not opened yet, but I saw some other medical students opening there. So I know there's a couple things in there that are a little bit of strange items. So. Take your guesses now of what you think are in a standard welcome bag from the Office of Student Affairs. So first we have a nice water bottle, Nalgene. It's nice, not bad. I'm not a big water bottle person, but I probably should be. And this is a Duke University little note uh, kit, I guess. So there's some post-it notes and also the flags and a small calendar. So that's that's really nice. It's got Duke University School of Medicine on it. We got a pen that is just a Duke University pen, not exactly a Duke School of Medicine pen or anything, but we'll take it. Hand sanitizer, be strong, be well. Very important, 62% alcohol. Gotta have that alcohol content right. Um, seize this moment, Kleenexes, or I guess well, we gotta not use name brand and lose our trademarks. So what do they call it? Do they call it bath tissue? Brand tissue, they just call it tissue. So Kleenex brand tissue. And then we have, before the weirdest item, we have a lanyard. It's just a Duke lanyard, not a School of Medicine lanyard or anything. Um, and this is then the mighty uh, spork, which I don't know if there's some inside joke that I should know as part of orientation or that is normally covered if it wasn't virtual. But uh, yeah, that's that's nice to have. I'll put that in a lunchbox and use it potentially. It's amusing, useful, practical. I like practical gifts. Um, and then I guess we get the drawstring bag itself. So. 
nothing incredibly exciting, but I'll, I'll take anything free that I can get, and it's always the thought that counts, so it's nice having a little welcome to Duke. That being said, thanks for watching. I'm trying to start to get an upload schedule where I will upload on Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays, but probably starting off here since I have time, I'll probably upload a little bit more than that, but going forward, at least to start off, I'll try Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I'm not planning to try no matter what to stick to that. If medical school starts getting busy, I'm happy to drop that off a little bit and maybe just Sundays, but at least Sunday, I think it'd be good for me to do an end of the week reflection type video, but be sure to subscribe if you're interested in, in keeping up with my journey and maybe learning some things along the way. And until I see you guys again, don't be ordinary, go be great.